Here is a video of how to paddle with the right stroke. Let's look at the posture. We're lifting and sitting upright and we are leaning slightly forward. We have forward tilt of the pelvis. We have our eyes looking straight ahead with our chin up and our chest out. Our reaching arm is in line with the shoulder height. If you're in the ocean or going downwind and you have the swell and wind helping you, you don't need to have as high reaching arm. However, in the flat water where you're nice and stable, it's good to have the straight arm reaching forward, allowing you to pull more water back. The blade entry is very important. Hitting the water at a 45 degree angle allows the blade to already be in a pulling motion back. It's important that your right and left side are equal. Leg drive gives you rotation. We push through the heel, the knee comes down and the hip pulls in. On the right stroke, we pull the right hip in and on the left stroke, we pull the left hip in. Torso rotation allows you to pull with more muscles. As you pull the hip in, your chest turns with the hip and our head remains straight. On the left stroke, we pull the left hip in. The chest rotates to the left. And on the right stroke, we pull the right hip in and the chest rotates to the right allowing us to use more muscles to pull that water back. As we catch and pull the water, we also have the exit, where the elbow is lifted out to shoulder height. From here, our top hand is in stroke recovery, and it's important that it just floats through and not pushed. As our top hand comes through, it's important that it doesn't go above the head. If your top hand goes above your head, it is more likely that you are pushing the top of the paddle, taking the power out of the bottom hand pull. So it's important that our top hand floats through and our bottom hand does all the work in pulling the water back. I hope you enjoy your paddling and always improving with every session.